Y'all, it's Knowledge the Raven 2468, also known as Brother Knowledge 2468. So yesterday, y'all saw me, and I told y'all that, you know, it was a lot of stuff going on as far as me uh, getting my business up and running and running my mobile service. Well, I'm just going to show y'all today. Check it out. So I cleaned this building right here, right? I cleaned this church. This is where I'm actually staying at, so I'm going to clean up where I stay at. Uh, sleep up there in the upper room, okay? No problem with that. Uh, also, I um, just thought I'd go live to show y'all what I do, you know, as far as the cleaning of the bathrooms, cleaning the facilities, taking the trash out, what have you. I done a lot of it this morning, but then I got the idea. I was like, you know what? Why don't I just put myself out there? So if you need me to clean up your facility, you need me to come through, clean up your crib, you know, uh, wash your car, whatever it is, you know, I'm a mobile service and I do it to perfection. I do my job and I do it well. Now, there's times where I'm doing this job and of course y'all know kids and even grownups, they come in and they'll dirty up facilities and then they'll turn around and act like you didn't clean it up. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all, man, that's, that's pretty messed up. That somebody's cleaning up some facilities, I'll show you this facility. So, you know, look, everything clean. Trash taken out, all that, you know what I'm saying? Everything clean, see? Everything clean, tissue, all of that. Just trying to grow my business, you know what I'm saying? Everything is clean. Just ran through and swept these floors, I will be mopping soon. Gotta get these over here fixed. But, clean this up too. Clean this up, got it smelling good and nice and neat. But you get people that come in here, look kids, want to dirty stuff up, throw stuff on the floor. Look, this is the women's bathroom, cleaned up. The women's bathroom is cleaned up, swept up, all that. Make sure all this is done. Trash taken out again. Let me turn these lights off. So, can't nobody say this, brother. No, I just didn't come through and do the job. Here go another spot. Nope, oh, hold on. Just the janitorial closet where I get all the stuff out of it right in there, okay? What happened? Turn my music. Here's the gym facility. Ran through and swept this up for the young man. Zephaniah mm. Moore, he didn't ask me to, but you know what? I saw that it was dirty and it needed to be swept up because some fellas came in here and hooped last night. So, had to come through and clean this up. Now, I just did uh, these floors here. Now, I had to get all the stains off of this here. I got the before and after. I'm gonna get that one next. Yeah. There's the mop bucket, there's the stuff. You know, I'm getting down and through there. Just clean this up too. Had to take that trash out. Clean this up as well. Just trying to do, you know, get, grow my business. That's all, y'all know what I'm saying? Like, so I said, I'm just gonna put myself out there as a mobile service. About to finish this up, where I get down and through there. I'm getting down on hands and knees cleaning this stuff up. About to get these fluids cleaned up as well. Go ahead and clean this up. For those that are gonna come in and use this facility, you know, when you come to somebody's place, you know, it needs to be clean. It needs to be immaculate. And even when you leave, you need to make sure that you clean it up as well for those that are using the facility. Y'all need to start learning how to take care of what we got. Really. We need to make sure that when we use somebody's facility, we need to clean it back up the way that it was. Don't be leaving stuff for other people to come in there and clean up after you. You grown just like we is. Clean up after yourself. And if it's your kids, make sure your kids know that they need to be cleaned up after themselves as well. Ain't nobody got time for all of that, man. Nobody got time for none of that. So I'm cleaning up this facility. I'm gonna get all this done. This was done up. Um, and the brother Zephaniah right here, he, he cleaned up this spot. What's happening, bro? So he cleaned up this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that sink up for him, man. He did a great job, an immaculate job. So that's what I'm doing right here. So I'm finna finish this up. This next portion so I can get out this uh, 
the rest of this up. So I just thought I'd just put myself out there, man. Since, you know, I can't get nobody to do a review for Brother Knowledge or, you know, post anything about the services that I've provided as far as my mobile service, as far as me taking you to the store, as far as me uh, picking up your groceries, as far as me mentoring your child, as far as me uh, counseling you, as far as anything that I do on any platform. And I'm just telling you, man, forget it. You might as well just put yourself out there and then let other people hit you up and call you. So, you know, I decided to do it social media way. Since I can't get nobody else to do it. And I ain't tripping. Nah, I ain't tripping at all. Because I'm going to keep on doing what I do. Let me get my music real quick. What's happening? Man, just putting my business out there. Mm, trying to grow it.
recording that janitor's closet for me and uh, grabbing that uh, Fabulous. Would you mind going to that uh, janitor's closet downstairs and grabbing me the uh, big old bucket of Fabulous? It's purple. Yeah, I don't know where the janitor's closet is. Oh, it's like straight up where I go. So here, show me so I can know next time. Yeah, being persecuted by 
Everybody say in this bitch when it's said it's defective, they preach. And this one of Mars, thousands of Christians are scarlet because they committed to follow. They say the fate is Stephen for what they believe in, but these things are what they go harder. This for the missionaries, because it is scary. Some of these are some shot in the kill. They go to get in the buried in the cemetery, but they give all they got in the field. And this for the last I couldn't believe my eyes on the screen. I see nice for 21 guys on the knees, and these Christians will be headed right on the beach. And just the blood color to tie in the sea. I broke down the sword at the cry because we to worship at the service time that we please. And pray in the wind up for Bibles and read. You call the brothers up and die and we're free. It's morning because they won't deny them. socially acceptable to make me a dog toy because, and I say this respectfully, this is the most boring job I've ever had. Ever. And I used to live in a box before this.
All right, so I'll give y'all the before and after once I'm done. Uh, I'll take some pictures. That way y'all can see uh, the work that's being done. I'm going to get these floors cleaned up, finish it up here. And then I'm going to start over there and try to knock all this out today while I got time. Um, and then uh, we'll see where it goes from there. I hope to hear from y'all. I hope y'all uh, will start using uh, my mobile service. Uh, just hit me up if you uh, need a ride somewhere. Um, hit me up if you need a mentor for your child. Uh, whatever it is, I'm a whole uh, helping service out here. So uh, hit me up at Brother Knowledge 2468 or Knowledge the Raven 2468. I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge.